Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I'm going to go over what I look for when I'm interested in purchasing a new pen. Um, we have a few examples here. Up top we have the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl, below that we have the Lamy 2000, and below that we have the Keras Customs Decagraph. This particular color is the Monsoon. So there's several categories that I look for um, in pens, and there's certain things that I don't care about that other people may Let's go ahead and go over that. Um, first up, the design. This is generally what attracts me to the pen initially, what makes me look at the pen and go, I want that. You know, I, I have to have that pen. So these are all fairly uniform and in, in shape, you know, kind of flat top, which I prefer, ironically enough. Um, I do have rounded pens though. I have vanishing point, click pen, I have pop caps, all that stuff. But the, the design, the color, things like that are initially what attract me and there's different things about each of these pens you know i i really like the the bill clip on the pelican i love the design of the nibs on these pelican pens they're absolutely immaculate the material choice on the pelican was very very well done in my opinion and this uh this ocean swirl material is one of the prettiest i've ever seen in person it has so much depth to it. Even those the parts that look black, especially in person, really aren't black. It's this beautiful, beautiful deep material that reminds me exactly of the ocean. You know, there's a lot of little pelican nuances that they've done throughout the years, and the design is just it's classy. Uh oh, <laughs> it's classy, but with a little bit of flash. This pen isn't going to immediately catch anyone's attention. Maybe like the decograph will, but it's sort of understated to a degree until you catch a light on one of those sides and you're like, oh, that's a gorgeous pen. Um, the the Lamy is actually kind of the opposite. So this pen is very very minimal, and for me, I really prefer like the silhouette of this pen. Uh, the more nuanced things, the brushed texture on this is really really nice. The little uh, metal circle here on the end that's also brushed matching the clip the clip lines you know Germany under the clip just little subtle things that's what this pen is all about is the subtleties you know even when you come back here to the piston knob you really can't see it and I think part of that reason is to not detract from the design and when you uncap it it continues you know a really really nice steel section very very subtle ink window it's nice that the entire pen is understated, but very, very well done, and I really, really appreciate that aesthetic. It's very minimal, very, you know, um, it, can, it can be formal if you need it for a formal event you need a pen for or whatever, but it adds a little bit of very subtle flair, and I really, really like it. It stands out on its own with these very, very subtle, nuanced design elements. And I really appreciate that. The Decograph, you know, <laughs> I really like um, Art Deco design, so this kind of spoke to me. Um, Kara's Customs has a very unique industrial design that they add to things. So, you know, little angular stuff like the, the kind of semi-Art Deco inspired clip, I really like it. Um, some of the orange peeling texture up here. This little bitty ring back here, just to add a little bit of flair to the back. Um, the way the cap transitions to the body. All kinds of this stuff. You know, their nibs aren't great, but um, I really like the titanium nib on this one. Their nibs are good. Let me backpedal. The design is boring as hell. Except for their new Keras Customs titanium nibs, which I absolutely have to get one. Those look really, really nice, and I think would add that extra little bit of pop. But just like the texturing on this aluminum, the way the threads are milled out. Uh, on, on Keras Customs pens, it's more of a um, an engineering thing. It, they're just very well built, and you kind of appreciate it from that standpoint. Also, I really like the color orange, and this is a very, very vibrant pen. <laughs> um, next thing I look for is ergonomics. This is enormously important, especially when you're going to be writing with a pen for a long time. You want it to be comfortable. That's extremely important. So one of the first things I look for ergonomically in a pen is the weight. I know some people don't really consider that. Usually anything over 20 grams I, I prefer. Um, there isn't like an upper limit for me. I really don't mind because usually when I'm when I'm writing, even if it is longer form, really heavy pens don't 
typically bother me all that much. This is a, a, a fairly heavy pen. It's not crazy. Um, this one's even heavier. It, just, it really depends on what you like, but I, I like a substantial weight, but nothing you know, too crazy. I think an all a giant all copper pen might be a little a little much. But uh somewhere between twenty and forty grams I think is a really good weight for me. The section is is extremely important. Um as I've been using fountain pens more and more I found that larger sections just appeal to me more. They're just more comfortable for me. I don't mind using smaller sections. I carry around a Caveco Lilliput all the time. The section is very, very small on that pen. But I'm not using it for long form writing, it doesn't really matter all that much. So the section width is very, very important. Um, the length is also fairly important for me. Um, this pen is not very long, or at least it doesn't seem that way to me, but it's just past the end of my hand, which is, again, what I look for. And that kind of goes for all of these pens. None of these pens are exceptionally long. But they all kind of break past the end of the hand, at least for where I grip the 2000. Your grip may vary on that. But things like that, I, I really look for the, the width of the section, the, the length of it. Those are very important and very large determining factors in whether or not I'm going to like the pen. So you see almost all these pens come just past the length of my hand. And these, the biggest reason that I got these out is they excel in all these categories, but ergonomically they're some of my favorites to use. I also, I look at posting a bit, but I really don't care. Um, the, the reason I look at posting is, for the most part, I don't like to have to post. There are a few exceptions to this. You know, this pen posts extremely well, I still don't like using it posted. I don't know. Um, the few exceptions are, you know, the Caveco Lilliput, the Caveco Sport, and the uh, Pilot E95S. All of those, um, I don't mind posting, and I obviously, you know, prefer to post those. But posting isn't really that big of a deal to me. Um, this, while we're kind of in this, you know, design um, ergonomic section, I'll mention clips. I really don't care about clips, uh, apart from stylistically. Uh, the Pelican clip is one of my favorites, just because it matches the design of the pen so well. But as far as, like, functionality, I don't use clips. I usually carry them in a case, so it's kind of lost on me. I apologize for that, if that's, you know, a thing you're looking for. I will comment on clips Certainly, and I definitely test them out before reviews just to try to give you as much information as possible. But I don't, I don't use clips every day, so it's not really a big determining factor for me whether or not a clip works. I really care more, you know, of whether or not it looks, you know, decent. Um, after, apart from design and ergonomics, um, the biggest thing, and probably the biggest thing for most of you, is the nib. You have to like how it writes. All three of these pens write very wet, and they're very smooth, and somewhat soft, bouncy, however you want to say it, that is great for me. I prefer smooth. Um, actually, someone, I, I had mentioned smoothing out a Sailor or a Platinum nib, I forget, and someone in the comments was like, that's that's freaking blasphemy. Don't smooth out. They worked so hard. I don't care what they worked for. That's great. If they designed the pen to be that way, so be it. But I paid for it. I want it to be as smooth as possible. I'm going to smooth it out. So smoothness is what I go for with my nibs. You may like a little bit of feedback. That's perfectly fine. There's no, you know, no issue with that. But the smoother the better. And that's probably what makes the Pelican one of my favorite pens to write with. This nib is buttery smooth. Now the nib is also gigantic. It's a, uh, a medium. <laughs> it is a very, very large medium. It is the widest nib that I think I have apart from stubs. So it's... It's pretty big. I have I have broads, um, and this beats them out completely. This is actually a broad titanium nib, and it doesn't come anywhere close to the Pelican. Pelican's crazy. But the Lamy nib is very smooth as well. has a little bit of that bounce. Very wet riding. The Keras Customs is also fantastic. Really, really, really good. The last thing I look for is the build. Fit and finish, the tolerances, how it's done. Tolerance-wise, Keras Customs takes it home all day. The build quality is great, fantastic. Now it's it's really really good, but these two pens are great as well. The Lamy, you know, apart from the clip issue right here where it just goes up and down, I couldn't find any fin finish issues on this pen. It's it's exceptionally well done, and I'm still amazed at how they kind of get that piston knob to blend in with the body. Really 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 good design on this pen. Really good execution, fit and finish wise. And same thing with the Pelican. You know, well, granted this pen's expensive as hell, but 
fit and finish wise, it's it's damn good. Even right up here, a lot of companies. Let me go on a small rant real quick. A lot of companies have issues um, flesh fitting this, you know, the the finial with the with the cap. Pelican doesn't. Pelican freaking nails it. Look how even that is. That is amazing. Anyway, little stuff like that. Um, same thing with the cap band. Pelican just really does such a good job with making sure everything is really level. Little stuff like that. It probably most people probably don't care at all, but I do. I really, really care. I like for the stuff that I buy to to feel well built and to be well built. And that's that's kind of what I like for in pens. Um, if I had to pick one out of you know all of these as far as ergonomics, build quality, and clip. I mean, I'm not clip. <laughs> Clip is Pelican. No, um, Nib. Um, I would say ergonomically, this pen is the best for me. I really, really like it. The weight's nice. The section's nice. It's an absolute pleasure to hold and write with. Nib-wise, the Pelican carries it home all day long. It is great. Holy hell, it's great. Amazing Nib. I love this Nib so, so much. And fit and finish-wise, it's going to go to the Lamy 2000. Now, the Pelican... Fit and finish is probably a little bit. No, it is better. The Pelican fit and finish is better, but as far as like ratio, price to price to fit and finish, the Lamy just nails it. They do such a good job with these. It's it's astounding. It's really really mind blowing. But that's what I look for when I go to purchase a pen. Um, that's not necessarily what everyone looks for. Some of you may like really small, really thin, really light pens. I know people that do with really scratchy. I mean. Uh, <clears throat> feedbacky extra extra fine nibs however you want to live your life um, some people really really care about clips on pens whereas I don't it's, it's all up to preference so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I look for when I look for a pen <laughs> and if there's any questions you have about any of these pens or any of my preferences or anything that I didn't go over feel free to let me know and also let me know what you look for in a pen I'd love to hear back from the community and see kind of what you guys look for when you go to a store and you're going to purchase a pen, or if you're browsing online, and I keep hitting this pen, it's driving me crazy. Um, let, let me know what you're, what you're looking for, you know. And I also have a, uh, a video just like this on knives, what I look for in them. It will be posted right around this time within a day or two, so feel free to check that out as well. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good day. Bye.